The Libero SOC Design Suite version 12.4 was released on April 16, 2020. Here are the enhancements and features that come along with the release update. With this release, we are introducing a new radiation-tolerant PolarFire RTPF 500T FPGA device with CG1509 package in a standard speed grade. We are also supporting production timing for MPF200TS and MPF500TS devices at a core voltage of 1.0 volts with standard speed grade. This release also supports preliminary timing for MPF200TS, MPF300TS, and MPF500TS devices at a core voltage of 1.05 volts with standard speed grade. Let's talk about PolarFire FPGA transceiver enhancements. Libero version 12.4 adds independent RX support with enhanced receiver management. This release also supports integer mode for TXPLL as well as improved jitter attenuation solver in custom protocol mode. For IOD enhancements, we are supporting a wide interface of up to 128 IOs for all interfaces. We also added one-to-one -one ratio option between input clock frequency and data frequency for fractional interface. With this release, design initialization data and memory report has been enhanced to show PolarFire CCC configuration report. Libero version 12.4 introduces a new iMask feature in Smart Debug tool for PolarFire transceivers. This iMask feature will provide the best DC and offset values for the transceiver I. For PolarFire and RTG4 SRAM underscore AXI underscore AHBL configurators, ECC option is added to the memory settings. This ECC supports pipelined and non-pipelined modes. There are a couple of RTG4 calibration updates with this release. The set filter delay calibration is updated using initializing data stored in reserved UPROM address. If the user is migrating their existing designs that contains UPROM to Libero v12.4, the complete design will be invalidated. Refer to PCN20005 for more details. The RTG4 PLL calibration logic is also updated for FDDR, Zowie, and PCIe blocks. This slide details the improvements to timing reports. This release enables custom timing reports using the Verify Timing Configuration option. A new clock domain crossing report option is introduced in SmartTime after generating place and route, plus a 40% runtime improvement on timing report generation. The consolidated multi-corner timing report supports min delay repair violations. For polar fire designs, the default option for synthesis is set to automatic compile point. This option reduces synthesis runtime through multi-threading and incremental flow. Flash Pro 6 hardware now supports the Identify Debugger tool for PolarFire, SmartFusion 2, Igloo 2, and RTG4 designs. Libero version 12.4 enables back annotated simulation for fabric components in PolarFire designs. Libero version 12.4 is officially supported on Ubuntu 18.04 operation system. This release integrates licensing setup flow along with Libero installer. It enables ease of license installation for first-time users. It also supports installation on greater than 2 terabyte partitions for Linux environments. Thanks for watching. For even more details on all the available features, please refer to the link in the description of this video for the Libero SOC v12.4 release notes.